and uh, new game. Here we go. Okay. Sure. What's my name? Oh, you know that. Do I not play with a mouse and keyboard? Just a keyboard? Monster Sanctuary is a land far away from any other human civilization. While the monsters are dangerous to humans, monsters raised by them grow loyal to the owners. Fair enough. Most of the people in Monster Sanctuary reside in the Keeper's Stronghold. Is that my pet? Many of them learn to raise and train monsters. Have a slime and a mushroom? They call themselves Monster Keepers. Choose a familiar of your bloodline. Ooh. Okay, we have Spectral Wolf, which looks really cool. Also, the wolf is the crest of my family, so... Spectral Eagle? Eh. Very on brand, yeah, exactly. However, the Spectral Toad looks pretty rad, and it's a toad. Spectral Lion, meh. Has to be the wolf. Has to be the wolf. Among the most prestigious monster keepers are four prominent old bloodlines tied to the monster sanctuary's history. Look at that nerd with the toad. Each of those bloodlines is aided by a spectral familiar. Those familiars are ageless protectors of their family, passed on from one keeper to the next. Kira is just starting out to become a monster keeper like his ancestors before him. Oh yeah? As with all starting monster keepers, journey begins on the keeper's trail. Bloodline's familiar bears the form of a spectral wolf. Name your familiar. Oh no, here we go. Now, this is a very important name. Cannot be Wolf. Could it be Shlurpo? Is that my ancestral familiar name? No. Gonna pull from something I like. And I tend to go there when I don't know how to name things. You picked a dude, right? Yes. Um, and that is Greek mythology, so. We have a list of Greek mythology names. I kind of forgot which of the two was a dude and which one was a girl. They didn't label it for some reason. I picked a red one. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, genealogy of the Titans? Sure. You can do that. Okay, so we have the main eight titans, but is this guy worthy of one of the main eight titans? I mean, 
Hyperion is definitely one of my favorites. Also the name of fantastic book, so Hyperion it is. Monsters are wild things. The only reason I'm helping you is the bond I share with your family. Wow. I hate them more than trying to being all pick your body type. Pick a visual style. So if you pick my male or female, the game is then going to refer to me as male or female depending on what I picked. Right. I suppose so. I mean, you know this is going to evolve into pick your pronouns at some point. Most monsters are less inclined than me to help you. That is why you must always raise your own monsters. They will grow alongside you, just as I will, and they will fight for you. The best way to gain a monster's loyalty is to hash it from its egg. Of course you will have to fight to get those monster eggs. Look at the blob over there. I want his egg? Initiate a fight by contact. We shall see if you will live up to your ancestors. Okay. Face. Jump. That is not... Okay. Bottom. Oh, I can move with this. Okay. Contact. Start combat. Pretty cool music. Claws. 50 damage. Two times a hot. No, 50. What is that? Mana? Mana. Claws. Two. 100% damage. Physical. Crit damage plus 50. The volume seems. Still pretty high. Ice hail. Water, hundred and can I see the monster weaknesses or something? Air sickle. Let's go claws. Ah, here we go. He's weak to air. Air sickle. Go. Bubble burst. Ow! Okay, so I regained 45 mana. Cool. Enemies info. Okay. That's right, claws. Let's see how much that does. We have done about 100 damage with the sickle. We did 80. Yeah, the sickle was better. Uh, perish. Rare loot chance, 40%, gold bonds, 120. So based on my performance, I've got the blood bag. And some copper. And some XP. There we go, you received the blob egg. Now you need to hatch it. Open the inventory menu and try to hatch it. Okay. Options. Audio. My music volume is already very, very low. And now sit on it. <laughs> and now shove it up your bum. Items. Blob egg. Consume to hatch it. Consume? Hatch the egg. Sure. God. I have a blob. Okay, this guy... Uh, this guy's not gonna have a titan name. Like, clearly. But hey, remember that Shlurpo guy? Perfect name for a slime. Shlurpa. It's a slime. Very good. Very, very good. Wow, it sucks, huh? 
compared to my wolf. All right, Slurpo. Do I have to kill them? They're attacking me. I don't have to kill them. Do I have... Uh, oh. Okay, well... I'm fighting two slimes. So the blob has arcane bolt. Magical damage, sure. Huh, look at that. And then we air signal. Also, it gives you like a small preview of the amount of damage you're going to do. Interesting. Wait, why is that my slime doesn't have the bubble burst? Is it. Do I have a bad slime? Air sickle it. Get wrecked. Evaporated. Is the music still really, really loud? Or is it the sound effects? I see it's kind of peaking. And it's over. Got a vital ring. And a small potion. Continue. Can I even equip my monsters? Based on the effectiveness of your combat strategy, you get a rating of 1 to 5 stars. Earning a higher rating increases your chance of getting better drops like rare monster eggs. Gotcha. Uh, oh, hey, whoa, 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 hang on. What was that? Abilities. Activate water orbs. Breaks hidden walls and cuts through vines. How do I activate it? F. Oh, god, that was... What's this? Interact. Young Keeper. Tis the Keeper's trail's beginning for all of men. Beast and Sanctuary has beginning. Okay. Break it. Break the secret wall. Oh my god. Kill it. Kill the pill bug. Magma Pillar and Rocky. Okay. Let's see. Arcane Bolt. Let's kill Rocky. It seems like they... Oh, well, they do have... They both have magic powers and whatnot. But my familiar may be weak to fire. Let's kill the Magma Pillar first. Ice Hell. Do a crit and kill it. Oh, man. I'm burning. And it's punching me. How dare you. Perish. Now, are you weak to anything? Weak to fire. I guess claws it is. Damn, that fire move does some damage, huh? It says crit plus 50%, but it's not really critting that much, huh? Heal. Ooh, that's a real good heal. There's the crit. How many stars? Three? 40%? You got a rocky egg. Hell yeah. One skill point. As your monsters gain experience in combat, they will increase in level. This allows them to gain new skills. You take a look at the skill tree menu. 
Well, first of all... We have a Rocky. Which is... Groucho. Rocky. Apt name. Oh, it's Groucho. Groucho has a skill point. Uh, skills. Ooh. Okay. So, my Spectral Wolf can specialize in air magic, Spectral Flame, Ice Hail, or the Claws. Pretty cool. Mana Symbiosis. Heal for mana received. No, oh, sorry. Gives mana for heal. Okay. Aging. At the end of the turn, the monster gains an age stack. Don't we all, man? Don't we all? Increased damage dealt by 5%, an additional 5 for every age stack. Cool. Gale. So we get another wind move as well. It's all enemies. We get an AoE. Air sickle is physical damage, by the way. Hail is magical. Spectral Flame is also magical. But neutral. Hybrid Master. Increase attack by 10% of monster magic and increase magic by 10% of monster's attack. Oh, okay. Health plus. Outlast. Unique aura. When an allied monster gains their first, second, or third age stack, they also gain a shield equal, equal to 15% of the max health. Oh, good. Free chance. Very nice. We have here. Temp a chance to apply chill. What does that do? Monster loses 10% of mana when applied. Mana regeneration is reduced by 20%. That's really cool. Like a powerful debuff. Trigger an additional 100% damage hit when applying chill. Okay. Multi chill. Chill can be stacked two additional times on enemies. Additional stacks are half as strong. So you get to a... 20% mana loss? That's not bad. And 40% mana region reduction. Also get Ice Storm. Shatter. Chills. Causes attack against enemies affected to have 10% increased crit chance. Very powerful. First crit always applies a chill. Very good. Double impact when exploiting an enemy's weakness with an attack. We get an additional 50% damage hit. What do we have in the claws? Lifesteal? Applies glory to the party. Increase crit chance by 10% and crit damage by 20. Ooh, that's really good. Increase crit damage. Apply sidekick. Each attack triggers 40% extra damage. Wow. This seems really powerful. Sidekick and Glory can be stacked additional times. Increase attack and magic. Life overload by 1% of monster max health. Okay, I like this. Um, let's get Glory. And we also have Scrouncho, which does have a punch combo. Okay. Improved mana region, defense plus. Spores. Applies weakness. Also did less damage. Putting your wolf into a support unit. Well, maybe. Restore. Feels like my other guy is gonna be the healer. Sure, let's learn spores. 
it does more damage and applies the weakness debuff. All right, Shilopro, you're sort of lagging behind. We need to fix that. Uh, what was that, by the way? It's rocks obstacles. Activates ground switches. Okay. Come on, man. Ooh. This. I've obtained a Cestus. A weapon. Wait, hang on a second. Equipment. Oh my god, they have weapons. An accessory slot. Okay, Scrouncher. You're my punch guy, get the Cestus. Who are these nerds? Giving that vital ring right now. Uh, wow, Scruncher, you don't have a lot of HP, huh? Take that ring. Who are you? Man. He's man. Hey, fellow keeper. Do you know what every single one of your monster possesses a special ability? Some can be used to get rid of certain obstacles. Also, you might encounter some destructible walls, like the one behind me. Go ahead and try to hit it with some of your monster's abilities. Way ahead of you. Who are you? Man. Hey, friend. You're just starting as a monster keeper, right? Did you find some equipment for your monsters already? You can make your monsters stronger by equipping them. Kunai. Oh, yeah? Kunai. Sure. What is this rock? Do something. Do it better. Good boy. Hide. Okay. Uh, Shlurpo. Your defenses are atrocious, really. So why don't you equip this? Alright. Good job, everybody. Whoa. Oh, I pulled all three, huh? Vero. Level one. Sure. Uh, wow, the slime is really fast, is the thing. Oh, this guy has a lot of attack, huh? Sure. Let's all gank on the bird. Spore. And glory to everyone. Ah. Oh, that's not good. Pathetic damage. Perish. All right, air sickle with extra crit. Let's see if it works. Not really. Ow. The damage sucks. They're really, really bad. So, Scrouncho needs more regen. He does not have a lot of mana. How long does glory last? Who knows? I'm gonna keep killing them.
destroy him. Can you punch him? No, you cannot. You suck. Damn, Scrouncher. You need mana. Got a Vero Egg. Flying finally leveled up. Okay. So, do we... We hatch a Vero? Okay. He needs a, a name. Let's see. Um, hang on. I'm looking. Okay, here we go. You can be... Not that many titans, huh? Well, there would be more. <laughs> God, this game is killing me by making me name all these things. Ah, there we go. Some names. Sure. You can be... Sure. Askara. That's a nymph from the town of Askara. She was loved by Poseidon, apparently. Cool. They have skill points. What do I do with them? Very nice. Bubble burst. Ah, there we go. Slime shot. Poisons. Huh? What's poison? Must resist damage based on own max health. Out of each turn. Oh. Heal. Combo healing. Cash and trigger an additional heal on the monster with the lowest health. Nice. Her magic rating. Mana plus. Magic proc. Every attack triggers an additional hit equal to 35% of magic value. Acid rain. Armor breaks. Reduction defense and other source of damage reduction by 25%. That's not bad. I do like this magic proc. It's free damage. Askra beating. Physical damage neutral. Might. Buffs physical damage. Lies might and sorcery. Okay. Featherstorm. Or air sickle. Armor bypass. Do they have so many things? How do I even know what one is? If I go Featherstorm. I can get more crit and sort of lean into it. Skill trees unique to the monsters? Yeah, they are. But sometimes they may overlap, like this guy has arrow, air sickle. Let's see if it's the same tree though. It's not. Even if it's the same ability, it's not the same skill tree. Cool. 
I'll go Featherstorm. I'll go down this way. Alright. Ah, wait, hang on a second. What does it do? Levitates the player. Holy crap. Okay. Man prosper through generations, founded cities and nations, connected by dirt and wheel, and later by steam and steel. Oh, what was that? A monkey. The bracelet. Mana region plus 12 in defense. Okay. Yeah, that goes on Rocky. Scrouncher. He needs the mana region real bad. Uh, let's try to levitate up there. Dude, that levitation is really lame. Do it more. Do it more. Someone doesn't know the difference between flight and levitation. Yeah, my monster doesn't know the difference. Whatever. Gauntlet. Defense and crit chance. Okay. Yeah, sure. Let's give this to Hyperion. Cool guy, my Hyperion. Sign. Right to the Keeper's Stronghold, left to the Keeper's Trail. This way I just go back home? Oh, hey. Three birds. Can't blame the monsters for all the extra servings you devoured. I did no such thing. And my monster knows it. And what's down? You don't want to know what's down. Spore. Glory. Pathetic damage. Okay, that's a bit stronger. Oh, did you see that? The extra hit? That was nice. Oh my god, the extra damage, dude. Oh, the critical! You're finished. Spore him. And claw him. Damn, that claw does a lot of damage. Four stars. Look at that, we found two walnuts. Nice. Are you doing anime game voice lines? Am I? Come on, bird. You gotta help me here. You suck real bad, huh? Can we combine these abilities? I switch to another monster now. Aw, oh, dude, come on. Alright. Diadem. 10 defense, 25 mana. 25? Man, that's a lot. It feels like I fixed a scrounger already. Who needs more mana? I can practically imagine the generic blonde pretty boy sword wielding yelling out, You're finished! Mid air combo, yeah, mid combo. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I think I'll never get as close to an anime game voice line as that one time I played um, 
The Legend of Corio then, or something? That was my top of the line anime voice. They literally made me yell like a Japanese move name. <laughs> And I did it in a very anime voice. What am I trying to do here? Oh, nuts. Who wants to eat nuts? Walnuts, specifically. Even six. Is that permanent? Well, I landed in the middle of them. Sure. Punch combo does a ton of damage, huh? Okay, glory, everyone. Ooh, extra defense. Holy crap, ouch. Okay, stop punching my dog, alright? That's just rude. You all know that. Do we believe in a critical? Hell yes. Oh my god. That was so much damage. Spore him reduces attack. Uh, he's no weak to fire, unfortunately. Yeah, Claws is better. Also, the double critical, holy shit. God, the slime sucks. Potato. I want the magma worm egg. The enemies respawn. I have an orb. And a morning star. Okay, one physical, water magical. Hang on a second. Can I. Can I switch. Ooh, Scruncher has a skill point. Hang on. Spore 2. Sporer. Cleanse. Every hit has a 25% chance to remove a buff. Interesting. One, two, B, Spore, two. That does a bit more damage. There's more mana. Then we'll take Cleanse or Mana Plus. It still has the Walnut. Interesting. Now you, my friend, a claw too. And now, team, Shlurpo, make space. Asker, you do physical damage, right? Physical, physical. Equipment. Morning Star. There you go. Shame this game doesn't have crossplay. I would totally get back into it and beat you up. Why would you do that? Let's 
trail, men plunged into the deepest abyss, foraged, attacked and slew. These endeavors were without solace. Cost of humanity, nobody knew. Oh god, alright. Impact ring. Crit damage plus 20%. I don't like this. I don't want to go down there. Wolf. Right. Ooh! Who are these guys? Walnut. Level threes? Uh oh. Cat Zerkers. Alright, they are pretty cool. Uh, okay, they resist wind, unfortunately. Do a mite. Spore them. Man, now that I don't have the healing up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Select level. Spore 2. Can't use it. I don't have enough mana. It's fine, spore them anyway. Oh man, I needed to kill one. In one go, you know. Ow. Oh god, can I switch my monsters? Switch monster. Put the slime in. Spore them. You just burned your entire MP bar on Claw 2 for an almost dead enemy. Did I? Oh, I did, yeah. I didn't realize it was automatic because I had to choose it on the other character on the other monster but of course my slime is now unbuffed fair enough leave slash it's enough to kill him I can only use claws one Fair enough. Ow. Good stuff. Spore 2. Destroy him. Oh yeah, that was a good sporing. Three stars. It sounds like me of some old messenger, maybe ICQ? No, I would remember ICQ. Cat Circer Egg. Hatchet. Hatchet now. Dude. Okay, you need a good name. I got it. Leogor. I love Leogor. It does look like you 
you know, hit like a truck, so... Aren't you, uh... Equipment. Unequip. Should probably at least equip the wooden stick. Alright, Leogor. Take the Morning Star. Get an impact ring. And show me what you got. Was the contact coming online sound in one of them? Regeneration? Or crit chance or slash two. This mana sucks. I'd say crit for now. Wait, he does have two skill points. Let's get regeneration as well then. Slurpo, what you got? Mana plus. Heal 2, combo healing, magic plus. Okay, in ball 2. Ascara, I mean, I'm gonna level you just because. Well, I was not impressed, honestly. What's Cat Zerker's ability? Break hidden walls, cut through vines. So it's like my wolf. That's a music note. Kill these bugs. Slash. Holy shit. Good boy. That guy got wrecked. Oh snap, that could be lethal if you knew about the system they haven't explained yet. Ah, I see. Oh well, they'll explain it. Attack. Normal attack? Slash. Region. Slash. You just kill him. I want to see how good Regen is. Uh, leaf Slash. At this point, any damage is damage. Damn! Okay, the Regen was not great. I guess it's because I don't have a lot of mana. Punch it. Victory. Three stars, give me an egg. Yes. something I can do with a bird. What does it always seems like it may be, but it's actually not. Crit ring. Whoopsie daisy. Q. 
Heal the slime. Destroy it. Okay. Definitely spore the cat zerker. Claws too. It could be. It could be dead. Ah, no crits. That does not kill him. I might as well. Why isn't it doing. Are they resistant to spores? No, it's not doing any damage. Why is that? Are they higher level? They have more. Oh, they're level 3. Okay, they have way more HP. A punch combo does more damage. Can we kill? Can kill the slime. Sure, I suppose. Kill the cat. He dies on a leaf slash, so... And they're weak to air, so... There we go. Slash... Perish! Oh, come on, man. I really wanted a crit there. Alright, fine. Ooh. Okay. Scrouncher. What can you get us? More mana region. Yeah, you can never use your spore to... Doggo boy. Why is level 10? Ah. So I think Doggo boy is also kind of having issues with the mana. How do we fix that? Also, are these passives just applying to the skill? In their skill tree or is this like generic so if i get cooling all of my attacks even the claws one will have a chance to chill because that makes a lot of difference electro flame does a lot of damage but uses more mana than claws It would give me the hybrid mastery, which seems like it's something we're doing right now. I'm gonna test the chill thing. I want to know if it's global. Keep us trail. But then came the four, be from greed or any other sin, who listen to the voice within. Struck a wound to the realm's core. See, they're using different metrics for the. The stone three smoke bombs. Okay. Where am I even going? 
Whoa. Whoa, boy. Potions. A toe. Mana and mana region. Oh, hell yes. Who needs that? A high period, probably. We do have a crit ring. Why don't we give, give that to Ligor? More crit chance. Very good, considering how much damage he's doing. Now, I'm not sure I want to fight these guys. We should have... Uh, whatever. Yowie. <laughs> okay. I have a lot of life. I'd like to kill the bird. First. Holy crap. Okay. And that's the bird dead. Ooh, which means I can glory. Did they just regen some life randomly? What's that potion thing? Holy crap, my guy. That spore does not do a lot of damage. Claws will kill it, though. Oh my god, that was more than 300 damage. My dog is doing so much damage. We got the blue gem and the yowie egg. Yeah, well, we were. All right. The Agor? Yeah, slash two. Absolutely. Uh, Bird Boy. Wait, is Bird Boy getting XP even if he's not in the team? Interesting. Then I should probably fill the other slots. We got a free slot in each party. Yeah, exactly. You can have uh, more mana. Oh, Slurpo also leveled up. Okay. Do we want a Yowie, Yoi, or a Magma Pillar? I feel like the Magma Pillar is gonna cover that fire damage that I'm not doing. I don't know what the Yoi does. A fire dot is kinda nice, yeah. It seemed good. Magma Pillar. Your name is going to be... You look a little dumb. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dope. He is dope. Can I hatch the Yowie egg? What happens to it? Yowie. Yowie looks like a... A tyke. 
guy's definitely a tyke. I... Oh. Okay. Okay, road up. Fly shield to the party when an enemy receives a burn. Get it. Are you kidding me? That's insane. Every hit has a 10% chance to apply burn. Can I stack more burns? All monsters in the party deal 5% more damage. This road up seems really, really dope. Okay, what's over here? Shell. Okay. The thing I probably cannot access. A ribbon, health and mana. From this wound, river flowed, and mountains grew mighty and cold. It's the only place for any creature that lives in peace with its nature. Ah, oh, snap. Right, slash two. Demolish that cat. Good. Unfortunately, we cannot kill it. Unless a lucky crit. Punch does more damage. Doesn't inflict the, the weakness, but does more damage. Claws can potentially kill this guy with a crit. Oh my god. So powerful. Damn, dude. Eh, might as well spore him. And claws. We got a rare coat. Rich chance plus five. Oh. Rich chance plus five. Legor is going all in. this hello hey old man who are you old buren oh if it isn't an old friend of mine hey buren long time no see i brought you a new student he just hatched his first monsters i thought you might teach him some lessons so you're the new spectral keeper huh oh call me old buren Made my home at the end of the Keeper's Trail, so I can teach all of you Greenhorns about your new duties, fully fledged Monster Keeper. But first, let's battle, see if you're worthy of the title. Okay, what do you have? A bunch of slime. Always observe your enemy carefully. Some say that the outcome of battle is decided before it begins. Since I raised those blows myself, they're stronger than the ones you've seen so far. As you can see, that level is much higher. You can also see the weaknesses and resistance of your enemies. Right. My blobs are weak to wind, I know. But also, feels like Slash does the job pretty well. Look at the top right corner of the screen, that is the combo counter. Every action you do in combat will increase the combo counter based on how often you hit your enemies or healed or buffed your allies. To increase the damage of the following attacks, the combo counter resets after every turn. Oh, 
Okay. So I would probably prefer things that hit more times. It makes sense to always try to act with your weaker defensive or assistive monster first and use high hit count actions. To maximize the damage of your offensive monster and the deck later. But can I choose... Oh, interesting. I thought the turns were fixed. I see. Fair enough. I probably want to leave the cat for last. Because that's a full combo. Then we can do another full combo. And then we do the big slash. These guys are tough. Ooh, okay, so chill does work. With all attacks. Very interesting. sure I want to use the dog first. But I don't have enough mana to do claws. So I kind of have to. But I can definitely have it go second at least. I have to swap out the cat. No, oh, I mean, it's still awfully powerful. Oh my god. 300 damage. With the region MP while not active? Probably not, yeah, probably not. Damn. Okay, then. Two stars. Shut up. Like, a level or two above me. Not bad. Not bad at all. You have walked the Keeper's Trail and you defeated my monsters. However, to become a proper monster keeper, you will need to complete one more test. Young Keeper, this next test will be much more challenging should prepare for it first. If the monsters have any free skill points, use them now and use them wisely. Do we do the lifesteal thing? Not a terrible idea. I 
I wonder if the lifesteal and the mana thing trigger each other. Probably do, yeah. Triggers on any healing effect. But since it's only one heal, it does regen five mana. Which I guess, you know, over 77 total is... No, not 77. How much do I have? 127. It's not that much. It's better than nothing, I suppose. Uh, the one thing I could do is take this and then activate the region from the Cat Zerker. That would be five free mana each turn. And some free healing, so probably a good idea. What's this? Titles of these book read The Ancestral Tome of Blob Handling and the Hidden Places of Monster Sanctuary are Guide. I really should go to bed, but I want to see what this is. Have you prepared for the real test? Sure. Good. Show bravery, but this time you're not facing a normal monster. Monkey? Oh, Steam Golem. Never mind. Particularly powerful monsters are often described as champions. Have more health, more damage, and can act multiple times a turn. It is your job as a monster keeper to take care of them. It's only fitting that you beat one to become a member of the Order of the Monster Keeper. Show me what you're made of. Reduce the damage with weakness. Shield. Oh, that's bad. Tackle. Not the worst. Hey. Damn it, it does have a lot of life. Airsicle. Is it that much shield that I cannot even get through with the airsicle? I shield it, at least. Oh, that slash plus the bleeding. Really good. on whether the life still hits in one chunk for it. I'm assuming it does since it doesn't say otherwise. Can I apply multiple stacks of bleeds? No, it does go away after what ow. Cat. The regeneration is sort of keeping me in the fight, which is really good. I don't really have to sub anyone else. Damn. Easy victory, man. Mm -hmm. 
seems like buffs and debuffs last forever, which is something to keep in mind because it really changes the power of these things. Holy crap. Iron, copper, and potion. Oh, that's so sweet. Congratulations, young one. You have defeated your first champion and therefore you're now a keeper aspirant. Nothing more is required of you. However, stay a while and listen, won't you? Because a thing going on, things going on in the sanctuary that troubled me. See, monsters can't become this powerful by normal means. Champions usually don't accept the other monsters beside them or keep her in control of them. Champions are always an anomaly, quite rare in nature. I enhanced this golem myself to make it stronger. But even I couldn't control it for longer periods of time, so I leave it deactivated most of the time. Recently, Keeper Rangers have been finding an unusual amount of champions around the sanctuary. I regularly receive letters by Veromail from rangers who are stuck in the distant reaches of the sanctuary fighting against champions. If it weren't for my old bones, I'd go out there myself. At least I can keep the Keeper's trail safe. I dropped a champion in the caves in this area. You can take care of it, if you feel up to the task. Mountain path key. But before you go, there is one more lesson I want to teach you. Don't worry, I don't have any other monsters for you to fight. The lesson is just about feeding your monsters. Your monsters will boost the stats. Caring for your monsters this way is vital if you intend to face more champions. But the monster always only profits from the last three food items you gave to it. Now good luck on your road as a monster keeper. Well then, you're a keeper aspirant. Still, the only way to improve your rank is to beat more champions. And who knows, maybe you will be the one to reach the title of keeper master. There's always only one in a couple of lifetimes. Take care of that other champion right now. We can go back to the keeper stronghold first. The choice is yours. Well. Where's that cave? serious bird oh i can see it i can touch it yeah i guess we'll go to the cave next time the game is really good though like it's really really good very much enjoying it yeah we'll go down here next time um how do i save and quit yeah all right good stuff I'm into it for now so we'll definitely continue this one but yeah guys i'm gonna go now uh sort of late so i'm leaving thanks for watching though i'll be back tomorrow have a good day have a good night i'll see you soon